Hey everybody, this is Rob Raybon. I'm inside my car inside the East Coast Indoor Nationals. I still haven't shaved. There was no shave November, but now it's December. Let me show you my favorite cars at this show. And I'm going to talk about them. Let's do 10 of them. Top 10. Rob Raybon's top 10. Not that I know anything. Just a Mustang douchebag. First place, my car, because it's amazing and it's been across the country twice and I used to daily it and it's amazing and it's fast sometimes. And look at these seats. These beautiful TMI seats with carbon fiber backs. Just look at it. It's so gorgeous. Second favorite car, Amanda's car, because I bagged it and I did the color and I used to own it. So it's like my car, but twice. Just kidding. This car is cool though. You got a rotiforms, this color, these turbos, that color matched engine cover. This is a cool car. I'm gonna do a full video on this soon. I swear, I promise. I really have a thing for Impalas, one hydraulics. You know, because it's gangster. Gangster as F. Um, yeah, I'll put this in the top 10. Look at this thing. This white roof. And it's also LS swap, so you could drive this thing anywhere, get pretty decent fuel economy, and just look at it, it's amazing. I'm going to give a favorite to this Mercury Capri with these ITBs, these awesome wheels. The lady that owned this has owned it since 1974, I think. You never see them. And it makes like 400 horsepower or something. Here's an amazing Viper that was at the Pet Boy Speed Shop booth. It's black, it's a Viper. It has a supercharger on it. It has HREs. This thing is pretty amazing. I love it. Love this car. So, that'll be one of my favorites, I guess. We have this thing. It has a Lenko in it these nice Hurst shifters. Actually, I don't know if that's a Lenko. That might be one of those weird Hurst shifters that, like, does something weird in the shifter box. But look at this pig blower. I think it's awesome. I hope I get some more beauties of this. One of my favorites is this Dodge Charger. It's a 69. Kind of like the Duke Boys' Charger, but instead of doing the basic ass thing of putting a rebel flag on the roof, has this amazing red paint. I don't think the camera's gonna do any kind of justice to this. This paint is amazing. It's just so clean and pretty. That interior. I never have a car this nice. It's too clean. I always like when they have that fuel door like that. Is that are all the 69 chargers like that? I don't know. And then look underneath. It's, just, it's immaculate so clean. They would drive this thing across the country and ruin it. Here's another one of my favorites. It's in the same spot. This is Creations Auto. This is a Camaro that they did, I guess. An LS with... No, it's an LT4. Oh, geez. It's got an LT4. Even better. This is one of the best First gen Camaros I've ever seen. So beautiful, so pretty. Anybody that's known me for a long time knows that a 70 Torino was my first car. This is a 70 Torino Cobra, which was the Motor Trend Car of the Year. It's also a drag pack. When I think of muscle cars, I think of a 70 Torino. Let's look at it. Four headlights. Mean roof, long hood. Louvers. One of my favorite cars here is whatever this thing is. Cheetah Evolution built it, I guess. Oh, it's for sale. 50,000? 50, 50,000? No, 150,000 as is, or 200,000 finished. Um, okay. So this, I guess, is some sort of kit car with decently meaty tires on it. This is probably just an aluminum tub. Like a really basic chassis. Got these gall wing doors. And it has this V12 LS. Which is pretty crazy to have in a car this light. I don't know what it is. 
but it's pretty ugly. I don't like the color, <laughs> but I bet it's really fun to drive. Well, probably really scary. I imagine you just floor it and then poo your pants. They shouldn't have called it the cheetah. They should have called it the puma. The puma pants. Because that's what this car is going to do. It's going to make you poop all over your pants. That's probably why they did a brown seat too. They are doo-doo brown. Even the floor kind of has like a I ate Chipotle the night before kind of red brown look to it. Man, it's probably fun. Really like this SC paint is flawless. This interior is really beautiful. You can smell the leather. It smells so good. Then it's got this amazing 2J. So clean. So 2J. Butters is going to be super jealous. I didn't bring him. I didn't give him a car. I'm not sure if this is a cop car or something. Jesus, he's got his own TVs. This is one of my favorites, absolutely. I might have seen this thing on the internet. This thing went down Coastal Highway doing a big ass burnout. A bunch of cops follow him in the Wawa, I guess a year after that. From 11 o'clock, 60 tickets for $20. This is the notorious king of coastal highway, Malibu. Another one of my favorites is this beautiful Falcon. These ITBs. 427. Gasser style too. I love gassers. One of my next favorites is another Chevy. It's this Impala wagon. Clean. Way too clean, but this color. Again, you probably won't be able to see it on camera. Beautiful interior. And it even has ghost flames. Which might be hard to see. Here's some supercars. Meh. I do love 458s so though. If I ever hit the lottery, I'm gonna buy one of those. But I might buy a McLaren first because McLaren's have that rear exhaust. McLaren's have that rear exhaust. You can just hear it now. Just driving by people, all loud and obnoxious. Making super car noises. I don't know if I've made it to 10 picks yet, but this is definitely one of them. This Galaxy 500, beautiful. Awesome top, love this color. This color combo is amazing. Trim is really beautiful color turned out flawless. Interior matches the top. Interesting shifter. Steering wheel's awesome. Original looking cluster. And under the hood we have a Coyote with two precision turbos. Looks to be a Hellion kit. Man, that's beautiful that is a beautiful car looks like it's an automatic though which means it's gonna be even faster so really it's probably a 10 second galaxy probably one of my favorites is this Dodge Daytona as far as I know they don't make replica parts for these so this should be legit Post for the wing go all the way through the car and I guess kind of go through the frame. It's supposed to be really strong. I don't even mind that yellow color. It's like a aged white. Big wing, aerodynamic front end. It's like ricer before ricers became ricers. I really like Falcons. More modern shifter, vintage cluster, beautiful interior, fire extinguisher. There we go.
It's a very bad lighting setup, but whatever. So it's been a couple days since the East Coast National Show. I've been really busy with moving and working and all that good stuff, but I've had time to reflect on everything. Thanks to Jeremy for inviting me and Amanda and letting us park our cars in the Pet Boy Speed Shop booth. I really appreciate that. I feel honored to be part of that group of cars because they were just all so awesome and all unique. All the low riders were cool and it seemed like all those cars got driven very regularly, which I really respect. Not that my opinion matters or anything. The quality of cars at the car show was really top notch. There was a lot of cars there and they were all pretty much immaculate. Even the ones that were driven regularly, they just looked so beautiful. I was really just honored to be a part of all that. Pet Boy Speed Shop raised over $5,000. I think it was $5,300. And all of that went to Toys for Tots. There was also multiple truckloads of toys donated. As much as I love the car hobby, some days I get burnt out on it. I get really burnt out on the negativity that I see on Facebook and Instagram and just people that are know-it-alls and they throw politics into things and they say, oh, your car's gay, your car's stupid. Not mine particularly, but just anybody. Just bashing other people's taste and and their mods. I just get burnt out on that negativity sometimes and I just want to leave it all behind but then I go to a show like this and it's for a good cause and I see a community get together and do something that matters for kids that they've never met that they don't know. It's a very selfless donation. I don't think anybody does it as like a tax write-off thing. I really feel like it's something people do just to be good. And when I see that it really restores my hope in the car community and it makes me proud to be a part of that community. So thank you to everybody that went, everybody that came and said hi. Thanks again to Jeremy, and thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. And be sure to watch some more videos because there's gonna be some good stuff back there. And thanks to all the new subscribers that JD got me. I really appreciate you guys subscribing. And hopefully you see some cool stuff. Have a lovely morning, noon, afternoon, night, whatever is going on. And uh, have a Merry Christmas.